so it's intestines. So <laughs> lungs. Okay. So lungs, um, heart, and liver. From what? The sheep. Okay. The sheep. Yeah. Stuffed into a stomach, a sheep stomach. Have you ever I, heard of that before? No. <laughs> Do you think it sounds good? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Would you eat it? Uh, depends how it's cooked, I guess. Maybe <laughs> if I didn't know what it was. <laughs> okay, haggis. So this is the suet. I've actually got double the amount of suet because I'm going to use it in a pastry. Um, this is the fat and lean trim of lamb. And this beast is the other bits. This is the liver. Really large. We don't need all of it. This is the heart. At this point, I feel like Hannibal Lecter. And these are the lungs. Kind of takes me back to high school. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Oh my God, can you hear that? I think I just take that whole lot, to be honest. Ah! I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Okay. Sometimes when I cook, I scream in pain. Okay, I'm just going to wash it. I don't know if you're supposed to take the fat off, but I think the fat adds flavour. So let's, let's just go with that. Cooking tip. If you're in doubt, always add fat or sugar okay. or both. Put this in here. Thing. Okay, so I want about half of that. After all of that, I actually just want. Yep, that's Hannibal Lecter yeah, calling me. That, that'll do. It's supposed to be 113 grams. Um, and then I just need 450 grams of meat, which hopefully this is. Okay, no, it's double that. I don't know why they gave me double, but okay. And I've seen a lot of like other like American recipes um, where they just use like they don't use offal because I think it can be hard to get. Uh, that's about right. Okay. I reckon that'll be that's plenty. Look, it looks like a bagpipe. Yeah, I can see why they started it. So this will all be filled. Oh, I guess I stuff it in there with the suet. Oh, sorry, with all the filling. And I don't, I have to have a needle apparently, which I don't really have. Mm. But then that sort of all puffs up. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. It could end up being the strangest shaped haggis in the world. I mean, is that it? Do I use that? Maybe use that. I don't know. I really, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. That looks weird. At the point at which I was washing the stomach, I realised that nobody would actually watch this video. And this was the video that absolutely nobody asked me for. I was simply a lonely woman washing a stomach in a tiny two-bedroom apartment in Sydney. But like most people that are lonely, I kept going and minced up that offal and stuffed that stomach, mainly because I had nothing else to do with that stomach and no other plans for that afternoon anyway. While it was steaming, in went the pinhead oatmeal, lots of it, as well as the spices. That would help me mask all those stomachy, delicious aromas. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Delicious, yes. Oh, 
I don't want to really talk about this bit. Let's go on to the next scene. As you can see, I'm not doing a very neat job of it. So now I've got this thing that I've tucked in. I don't know, to be honest. I've had so many problems with the camera. I don't quite even know where to close this shut. I'm just going to try sewing this. So I pretended I was a surgeon and sewed it up and then just bundled up the other ends just because I didn't know what else to do with them. Hi guys! Ooh! A big haggis! Then you just boil the crap out of it and chill it. And then that's it! Haggis! Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos that nobody ever asked for. I'm stopping a bagpipe. This is the weirdest sewing job I've ever done. Let me be honest with you. I don't sew much, and this is not making me want to sew much.